a PDC World Championship quarter finalist and the reigning PDC Unicorn World Youth Champion from Belgium. It's the dream maker, Dimitri Van Den And now, ladies and gentlemen, will you please welcome the winner of four PDC ranking events and twice the World Grand Prix quarter finalist from Holland, it's Big Ben Benito Van der Pass. Further evidence of Benito van der Pass needs to be delivered here. Further evidence of Dimitri Vandenberg putting in some practice on the dance floor and further evidence so far this week as well of him putting plenty of practice in on the dartboard as well. A very, very stylish entrance onto the stage for the final match of the afternoon session and a very stylish performance yesterday in beating Simon Stevenson. 106.4 the average. He was on course for a nine-dart leg in the second. He missed double 12 for the Holy Grail on the European Tour. But a ten-dart leg nevertheless established a 2-0 lead and he never really looked back. And there was a lot to admire about the way Vandenberg went about his business yesterday. And, well, so far today it's been a very good day for the seeded players. But maybe, just maybe, this could be a very difficult proposition for Benito van der Pas. The 14th seed here this weekend after the withdrawal of Michael van Gerwen. And I think it's one of the toughest assignments the seeded players could have had in the afternoon session. Paul Nicholson for the final match of the afternoon session alongside me, Rob Malav. I couldn't agree more, Rob. I think earlier on we had Steve Beaton as the outsider against Luke Humphreys. And that was a tight match, but here you've got a clear favourite in Dimitri Vandenberg, I'm afraid. Dimitri to throw first. Game on. Timmy yesterday was destructive, Dimitri, against Simon Stevenson. And Simon played so well. But ultimately, it just wasn't enough against the player who really, really turned up yesterday. Almost broke the curse of Ross Smith. But the rest of it, on top of that, was very good indeed. Eight. Well, I said at the outset that Benito van der Pas needs to produce more evidence of what a potentially good player he could be. We've seen flashes of it here and there over the last couple of years or so, but with just one last 16 appearance on the Pro Tour this year, he's labouring a bit at the moment. He's now 26th on the Pro Tour order of merit, so he'll soon have to go back to the qualifiers for these European Tour events, as he did for the first couple of tournaments of 2018. Uh, you encountered him last weekend, Paul, of course, in a, in a very, very watchable encounter. Uh, not so watchable for yourself. I, I mean, did you have a chance to watch it again, reflect on it, digest it? Not yet. It's still stinging a bit. Uh, I think what I'll probably do 81. is watch it before I play in Sindelfingen, which I'm very much looking forward to. 
just to identify some things that went wrong. And it wasn't so much a game that you know, Benito won, it was one that I lost. And that's not being disrespectful to Benito whatsoever because he had his chances and he took them. And I, I applaud that because when you have a career that spans more than 10, 11 years that I've had, I've, there's been many games where I've you know, stolen from other people. And it just works in circles like that. But the evidence proves at the moment that Dimitri's just been a bit more consistent and he's going to prove very tricky to beat today. Well, Vandenberg on 107 here on his throw for the opening leg. Well, there's the seven. 87. These guys will have played each other plenty times. They're the right side of 30. Closer to 20. 57. Maybe it's a rival we will see more of in the future. But right now, to me, on double 10 for a 16 dart leg. Not a bad guy, that just to the left. Yeah, sure. Used it perfectly. It's a good start. Something to build on. Yeah, first blood for the 23-year-old Dimitri Vandenberg against the 25-year-old Benito Vanderpass. Vanderpass 16th on the order of merits. Vandenberg 20 places below him. Vanderpass. His run last weekend was ended by Max Hopp in the third round. Eventual champion winning 6-4 in that one in the afternoon session on the final day in Saarbrücken. Benito's got to be really careful 59. at this point in time. He's just got to focus on one match at a time and not look at the rankings too much because he's in the same sort of predicament as Alan Norris. They're at that cusp of the 16th 57. ranking in the world. They aren't playing to their full potential, so their players' championship or pro to a ranking isn't at its premium so there is a chance that they will miss the likes of the world match player the world grand prix things later in the year and if they engross themselves in thinking about that too much they may forget about just playing darts and winning tournaments 37 well i said oh the word i used to describe van der Pass earlier was that he's laboring a bit at the moment just to perhaps put some meat See. on the bones of that he had a really good start to 2017, especially on the Euro Tour. He made the quarterfinals at least in three of the first four European Tour events of last year. 138. Vandenberg was the maximum here. And then he made one further quarter, or one other semi-final as well later in the calendar. 95. But he's just had a really bad time of it uh, of late. Like I say, I had to qualify for the first two European Tour events of this year. Vandenberg certainly in the money again. 140, gets him down to 70. So if Van der Pass does fluff his lines here. Can't afford to miss 14 in the tops. It's only just in the 14. That's a good guide for Big Ben. Yeah, he well. didn't use it. <laughs> didn't use any bit of it. Went to the bottom corner. It's like the goalkeeper was in and he needed to have a perfect penalty and it was right in the corner. As long, as it, as long as it hits the red bit, who cares, eh? Yeah, it's like that second dart didn't even happen. But yeah, last ten players' championship tournaments of last year, he suffered seven first-round defeats, and I think to some extent that has carried on. Well, it's carried over into the start of 2018 as well. I think it's not just a measure of maybe how Ben's game has slightly regressed, but it's the quality of the competition, I feel, at that time of the year does intensify. You've got to play well. 133. You're going to make an impression. And over the last couple of years, you know, people were talking about has Ben good enough to be in the Premier League. Obviously, we're not talking about that right now. But he's got a long career ahead of him. But most importantly, he's got to focus on what's going on right now. And I see a little bit of movement in the body and the head when he's throwing, and it's something that. Maybe he just needs to focus on that when he's practicing. And that same point with Dimitri, it's not a problem right now because when he throws, he's like a statue. 43. As you can see there, no movement of the head, the neck, the shoulders, the body, straight back and forward. It's a very unlucky bounce out. If you look at Ben here, it's just a little bit of movement. 
And I wasn't yeah. seeing that two years ago. A little bit of unsteadiness, maybe. And these little bad habits can creep into your game. Just look at James Wade when he started hopping on the hockey. When he was made aware of it, he fixed it. Well, look at how he's playing right now. One hundred. Good visit, though. Three good dogs. Yeah, you just get the impression these two are just still finding their way into this match. And the winner of this one will play the winner of the last game, Michael Smith. Good luck, lads. That last performance was delicious. Yeah. Six nil. Six out of six. One oh four and a bit average. One hundred and thirty-four. Lots to admire about a man who has made the final of this tournament in the last two years. In each of the last two years, Van der Pass looking at one four five. That was a little different. Eighty-nine. Dimitri Vlasic. Set up though. Will Vandenberg give him the opportunity? No score. Clustering outside the wire. You require 56. Van der Pass with the first chance to break it. Double 10. Gets Gets it. On the third leg. Benito Van der Pass. He has broken through. Four seconds Benito to throw first. Watch. Game on. It's almost unbelievably 21 darts. A little different to the game from yesterday for Dimitri and a couple of years ago when I started covering the commentary for PDC TV I started watching a lot of Dimitri's games and there was a, a bit of a pattern where he played alarmingly well in qualifying the night before the tournament and then he would play really well first day of the tournament and get to the Saturday but then his performance would dip on the Saturday and Last year, he seemed to fix that a little bit better. And I don't know, it feels like he's a bit flat today. And maybe he just needs to find something to get his adrenaline pumping. Yeah, I, I said they were still, well, I said in the last leg, they were still finding their way. We had, what, a 17 dart hold for Vandenberg, an 18 dart hold for Van der Pass, and then a 21 dart break. You just feel there's a bit, well, you hope there's a bit more to come in this one. It, you, you never really, when you looked at the matches on the schedule Eight today five. you didn't really have this one down as a, a ploddy match you had it down as a an absorbing encounter something to get the crowd going but it's just a little bit subdued here at the moment maybe it will just spring to life 77 well, we hope somewhere it along the way it's yeah it's a bit i'm reluctant to use the word pedestrian but it's, it's just got that feel about it right now 42 pressure filled maybe both guys well, wanting to get the sunday obviously Ended last week and mentioned the game that I had with Benito last Saturday night in Zarbrook and my assessment so far is that 100. I wanted to beat him too much and you can't go up there like that. You simply can't do it because you think about your opponent too much. You don't concentrate on just getting the job done and staying in the moment. This is a big moment here for Dimitri Vandenberg. He's Gonna need a mistake from Benito, but this is potentially a good setup. Oh, that's 128. That's really well played by Vandenberg, 56. giving himself a, a real opportunity here for an instant break back. However, well, second dart lets him down. 98. He disappointed after that first dart. That was plumb in the 60. Ready to be gathered just underneath, but double 12. Yeah, the Dimmy gets that there. break back immediately. And wrestles first. himself. Back into the ascendancy. He's working hard today. As both guys are on that stage, it is so hot up there. Well, that was statistically the best leg of the match. 100 so far. 15 darts for Vandenberg and two. We talked about that injection that was required, and maybe that was it. A 16 dart break to get him back on terms at two apiece. He kicks off with a ton 80. 85. And maybe, just maybe now, the game will come alive here. He backed up by 60. Well, based on where Benito is right now, that's all right. Yeah, no further damage being done here either. 41. It's a strange game, Dart, sometimes because Benito, about a year ago, was making the final of Zarbrucken. 
and that tournament was in his hand and it was taken from him by a moment of brilliance by Peter Wright. Could have been his moment of lift a big title on the European Tour. It wasn't meant to be since then. It hasn't gone his way. But Dimitri's got a hold of this leg oh. by the scruff of the neck. So treble 13, just next door. And that's fine. Should be 3-2 up on throw. And providing he takes tops here, he can mount an assault on the Benito throw 81. and get a gap. 40. Double 10. Yeah, Isn't a problem. And the last two legs have been very good from Dimitri. Got two guys here who are very young, like we mentioned before. 61. Two guys who speak multiple languages. I know Big Ben's German's rather good. Dimitri's is fluent. His fluent darts here as well. 135. Shame about that third dart. Yeah, 16 dart break and a 14 dart hold. Vandenberg, you just feel, of the two, is the player that's looking more likely here. 44. Having started off with a... 17 dart hold as well. It's a gradual improvement, leg on leg here for Dimitri. Now, Dimitri is one of those players who 40 tends to soak up all the advice he can get. He genuinely listens to all of the legends of the game, the people around him, any advice and tutelage. 95. He, he wants, he takes with abundance. It's not someone who goes on the stage and just does it naturally. He puts in the work. And that work is reaping a few rewards here now. Oh, a beautiful 180 that was. All in the top wire. Could fit another nine in there. 57. Well, wow, 16 dart leg, 14 dart hold in the last leg. He's on course for a potential 12 darter here. 70 left. 128. Not 70 left. Well, it could be a 13 darter, but he won't care about that. It's another opportunity for a break hit. That was almost a premeditated 128. 48. As soon as he hit the 20, he knew that two triple 18s left this double. And he is getting better all the time. 16, 14, 13 in the last three legs. He's picking all right. He's got that two-leg gap that he craved when it was two all. Yeah, throwing first here for a 5-2 lead. Like I said, it's been a great day for the seeded players so far, but it could well be that Van der Pass 100. fails to extend that sequence. Dimitri Vandenberg threatening to book a big trend today. Moving King setting the ball rolling with a 6-0 win over Jason Cullen. Price beating Scott Saylor, Steve Beaton. 11 legs needed to see off Luke Humphreys, but coming through, Ian White against Brendan Dolan, Joe Cullen against Steve Lennon, and Michael Smith 81. with the performance of the day so far against Michael Barnard. But Van der Pass here has a lot of work to do. He started off with 57, and he's not going to add too much 85. here. We have to stress as well, of course, that if Dimitri was to go on and win this game, that Benito would receive £2,000 in prize money, but that would not be ranking money. That is the rule on Saturdays when 92. the Seeds join us. If the Seed doesn't win their first game of the tournament, much like Johnny Clayton, who was made a Seed this week with the withdrawal of Dave Chisnell, 85. he will not receive it on his ranking. So this is almost like not turning up at all when it comes to the ranking table for Benito if he doesn't win this match somehow. 134. He would be ranking money for Dimitri, come what may it. And just by qualifying for the event, he's got ranking points. And I think just based on what he did 12 months ago, 100. which is the points Mr. coming off, the money that's coming off, uh, Van der Pass was a quarter finalist at the European Darts Grand Prix as well, so that will be a deficit for him. I mentioned his uh, order of merit ranking at the start, Pro Tour order of merit ranking at the start of play, 26 at the moment, and further on the slide potentially here. And Vandenberg looking good here for a 5 2 lead. Van der Pass, though. Can merely apply some pressure. 134. Dimitri Pressure's applied, 40. but it may be too late. Yeah, maybe too little, too late here for Van der Pass. 
Vandenberg has liked double ten so far. 20. And maybe, just Indiana maybe, that visit of Van der Fass was in the back of his mind there. Well, he points to the temples. Does Dimitri. Okay, shot on the seventh leg. Benito van der Fass. He's lost that okay, leg. Benito to throw first. He's lost Game his on. break advantage too, because if Benito can hold here, it will be 4-4. Four -four. Dimitri really should have won that leg. Yeah, I three. know how you feel, Dimitri. <laughs> three missed starts at uh, a double three. there for a 5-2 lead. 5-2 becomes 4-3. Van der Pass has uh, got this one back on throw once again. But once more, it's a sluggish start from Benito. Just 43 scored. Were you privileged to watch the quarterfinal that Dimitri was in with Rob Cross at the World Championships? 93. I did feel... Well, I mean, I'm sure Vandenberg still thinks about that. Um... Um, and by the same token, I think Michael Smith thinks about his missed opportunity as well. 121. I think, uh, I think from that moment on, I, having come through that particular hurdle, it was then that I started to believe that Rob Cross would go on and perhaps lift the trophy. Um, it was certainly, arguably, the best match of the tournament as a whole. People will look at the final of the drama and what was at stake. I liked in the quarterfinal the resilience of Dimitri because after what was one of the best walk-ons I've ever seen when Dimitri Grace just did the pyrotechnics, he showed that when Rob Cross took a lead that he had resilience, he had fight in him and he pegged one Rob Cross back and they took it to the brink, they took it to the edge, it was a wonderful game of darts. Well, and the other thing, there was the anomaly as well that Cross, or oh, sorry, against Cross, Vandenberg had a higher average. 97. He hit more 180s. And he had the highest checkout as well, so he was king of the hockey, arguably. Double 15. Game and it's on the unconventional. But he's but it's definitely 4-4. Four -four. Like it's to throw first. Shot the tops. Game he on. forgot about that in the flash of an eye. And Dimitri, the only thing he's really got in his favour now is the fact that he's got the darts. But, boy, is this a good start. 140. Got to give Benito a lot of credit. Yeah. He's not playing his ear game, but he is fighting his heart out. He is doing just about enough here to keep himself hey, involved. Won. And what Van den Berg could do with now is just a, a string of big visits. He had a sequence in that match against Rob Cross. Nine of 11 legs he won, and he was 4 1 down to force a decider. 100 and, and he could do with a bit of momentum like that right now as well. Maybe the most extraordinary day of darts I've ever witnessed. That quarterfinals day. 108! It's getting hot in there! Well, we said it might come to life, and I think it has come to life now as we reach the boiling point of this one. It's a best of three to side now. The 180s are raining in. Vandenberg doesn't want a 180 here, though. 130! That'll do. Now he's got choices. He can go 11 tops if he wants, or 19 double 16. Or even 15 double 18 if he wants. It's a good number, 51 choices it's going to be a 19 yeah looking at the 19s firmly in the middle yeah, and that's the firmly the in the bed of double 16 as and well and Vandenberg has just rediscovered his touch at just the right time there van der Pass. that was a good leg from him actually I've got to say that wasn't a foul throw from Benito that was just a slip out of the hand. It was underarm, so he can retrieve it. There was no, it's no forward motion forward from motion, an yeah. overarm perspective. So it's not a foul dart. Which is something I talked about briefly with uh, 140. Evans last night after that incident with uh, Bastian Pichnik where he thought he'd bust his score and then threatened to throw underarm as he was halfway down the hockey. And Kurt was rather generous and actually pointed out before he did anything before he retrieved his darts that he still had an opportunity to throw another darts anyway had he picked his darts up it would have been a no score 140. there has been a penalized dart when there were match players on last year i believe when alan norris threw an underarm dart and it didn't count yeah russ bray was the referee 96. two two one each five four vandenberg good doubling in this match from both players. Half doubles hit. 57. From Benito, what he would give 
for a big score now. And that's a perfect first start. Can he get a 140? Yes, he can. He can find it. So this is for the match. Well, it would be some way to go. I think this would mean more than a nine-dart finish in some ways. And Vandenberg is threatening it not to be. And Van der Pass is lurking, waiting in the wings here on 81. This isn't a gimme. 26 for Vandenberg. If Benito misses double 12. Double six. Seven and now five. Vandenberg put the pressure on. And it's usually unlucky for some. But 13 times 2 is 26. That's the danger. Oh, just as well. Double four. Four yeah, for the match. match. And the Benito Vandenberg. Vandenberg underlines his potential once again. The world youth champion, the world championship quarter finalist comes through a bit of a tussle in the end against Benito van der Pass, but another indication of his talents and Benito van der Pass's defeat means we do not have a clean sweep of wins for the seeded players in the afternoon session here on day two of the Austrian Darts Open. Dimitri Vandenberg has booked the trend with some very, very stylish darts indeed. There was an 11 dart leg for the all-important, ninth leg for a 5-4 lead. A 13 dart leg for a 4-2 lead, and he finished it off very nicely as well. Quick word with Dimitri, back with us from 7.15 tonight for the evening session. This win doesn't really feel like a win, so I just think I need to be professional and take it to the next day. Well, sometimes you need to win when you don't think you're doing too clever. Um, you didn't throw that bad, you know? I mean, you put in a big leg in that last leg, that, the, the, the last leg we played there. Um, you know, a couple of unfaulties. It's all confidence. You won yesterday. Dimitri's the third seed to go out this afternoon. Um, got to be pretty proud of that. Well, like I said, the feeling is not maybe there, but I'll take the win and I need to work on to tomorrow. So, anybody, uh, anyway, thank you to the crowd. Danke schön euch alle. Es freut mich echt. Danke euch. They're fantastic, aren't they? We're going to see you again. The dream still goes on. The dream maker, ladies and gentlemen. Dimitri van der So, ladies.